Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. Well, since Kabam is dragging their feet with announcing the new champions for the upcoming month, somebody has to. So if you do not like spoilers, well then I don't understand why did you click on this video. Most importantly, this is your last chance, last warning to look away. Right, so. The first champion, pretty much everybody already knew that is going to get added. And obviously it is a tie-in with Doctor Strange movie and it is Wong. Now, I am not entirely sure uh, which version of Wong is it going to be because MCU Wong is quite significantly different from the you know traditional Wong. But it's more than likely going to be the cinematic version of Wong uh, that we are going to get. So he's going to be a mystic champion. Uh, you know, Doctor Strange-like abilities, and uh, I know a lot of people have been waiting for Wong for a very, very long time, and uh, yeah, so we do have Wong coming in as the first Mystic Champion of 2022, actually. We have made it uh, four months in, and uh, May is going to be the first month we actually get a Mystic Champ. So here we go. Wong is uh, arriving next month, and uh, I don't think I need to explain much about him, uh, but you know, basically he's a sorcerer. So we're going to see what type of abilities they focus around him. But since he's likely going to be Mystic Champion, we can probably see some interactions with uh, buffs and uh, so on and so forth. But it is going to be quite quite interesting. What kind of take, uh, what kind of you know setup they go with for Wong. That being said, I hope it's not a Mordo like thing. <laughs> we don't need another Mordo. We don't need a 2022 version of Mordo. Either way, uh, the next champion, the next champion, because obviously it's two champions that are going to get added. And uh, I'll be honest, I had never heard of this champion ever before. But then again, I'm not too deep into Marvel comics and stuff like that. But I'm sure a lot of you will know who it is. And it is Rintra. Uh, so, apparently, Rintra is an intelligent being from the extraterrestrial planet of Rwal. His name is... The Rwalians resemble green-skinned Minotaur Greek myth. Rindra's magical potential somehow brought him to the attention of that, whatever that is, and other dimensional sorcerer and took Rindra in began training him as his apprentice. So when it goes to his powers and abilities, there's quite a lot of backstory. Uh, he, due to his alien physiology, Rindra possesses superhuman strength and endurance, particularly in the muscles of his legs, his horns and hues, Hooves can be used as weapons, although he prefers not to use them as such. Sorcery. Rintra is a moderately powerful magic user. He has the potential to someday become as powerful as Doctor Strange, and the, and, uh, the full repertoire of his spells remains unknown, but he has exhibited such effects as dimensional travel, projecting his astral form, firing bolts of mythical energy, and erecting shields of mythical force. Weaver magic. He's able to mystically see strings of fate that float around living beings. Thanks to this feature, uh, Rintra could instantly learn the entire history of anything just by touching one of those strings. It's often explained by the whale and the weapon of the world. This kind of magic is unknown to Doctor Strange. And then there's illusionary sh shapeshifting and uh, genius intelligence. Weakness, true form on Earth. Ha! Huh. But either way, uh, so that is, uh, oh, well, he's a teleporter as well. Right, so that is another Minotaur. It's going to be interesting because he's an alien, so there could be an argument for, like, Cosmic or something, but, you know, it does sound like a magician, so, so he's likely going to be another Mystic Champion, and that is perfectly fine. We were due for some Mystic Champions. Now, as an added bonus to this video, well, first of all, let me know what you guys think about uh, Rintra. And what do you know about him, whether you're excited or not? But we do have another uh, thing to announce. And this one we did kind of know. And uh, that is the fact that Storm is, that the OG Storm is going to get new abilities, a rework, and uh, also likely animations. Uh, now, I do not have a full cutout of the updated abilities, but I do know for a fact she will have access to prowesses on special attacks, and uh, she's also going to gain shock immunity or some sort of shock damage mitigation once again. Uh, she will also somehow, for some reason, interact with bleeds whenever she would be bled. 
she gains a prowess. I think that might be a defensive ability. And uh, I do not know exactly how strong it is going to be, uh, the prowesses, or how long they're going to last. But uh, it is going to be, again, full-on shock immunity, something to do with stun. So the base kit around her is likely going to remain pretty much the same, but it is seeming like a more substantial change for the character, including the animations as well. Now, I do not know if anybody else is getting an update. Because, you know, it's meant to be two champions. Uh, I just, at the moment, have the information about Storm. And uh, that is it. So that is the total uh, amount of information that I have. Now, keep in mind, the person who normally leaks this stuff, Code the Goth, uh, he's from Ukraine. And uh, these leaks are not from him. But they are from people who... He typically like to do this data mining thing together, apparently. So take everything I say here with a grain of salt. I am not saying that this is, you know, 100% accurate and guaranteed, as I never do. That's never the situation with the leaks to begin with. Uh, so they are subject to change. But again, Wong, pretty much everybody kind of guessed anyway, so I'm fairly certain this ought to be accurate. Rintra does make some sense as well, uh, because it is a mystic champion. He does have some uh, history with Wong as well. And uh, I don't actually know whether he is in Doctor Strange movie or not, because I do not watch trailers for MCU movies, because I know that I'm going to watch those movies anyway, so I just don't want to spoil them for me. But uh, if he is in the movie, then again, it does make even more sense. And uh, Storm is one of the champions that we knew that is getting an update. So as far all, as all of that goes, that's one of the reasons why I am making the videos, because all of it does kind of make sense. Most of the people who made the predictions, made these predictions, Kabam had announced Storm's buff coming at some point in nearby future as well. So it kind of ticks. But again, this time I am absolutely 100% not as certain of the leaks as I normally would be when we were posting leaks from Cody Goth because he actually had a full on pretty much near perfect record with leaking this stuff. And uh, I'm not that sure about uh, whoever is leaking these. I do know that they do have something to do with the same guy as well though. But again, just on basis of the fact that, yeah, they do kind of their data mining together with Cody Goth and the fact that everything that is leaked really really does make sense to me and is you know already kind of half confirmed or half guessed is, is is the reason why i feel comfortable enough making this video that is it however and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys later see ya Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about the